What's up, everybody? It's day 33 of the celebration of the one-year anniversary of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Now, yes, I did say day 33 because this is going all the way till this Tuesday. So we've already had 31 days of it, plus two, today being the second. Anyway, we're going to check out what our mercenary is and dig out the last of it. I'm Dark Strider, the YouTube Assassin. Let's get to this. All right, so as is our norm, we come over to the bounty board and we check out the bounty on the mercenary. It's Thalia the Talon Hand. It's a horrible monster. The way she kills makes me sick to my stomach. Do the world a favor and kill her. Oh, they really don't like these mercenaries. That's kind of hurtful. Okay, so we'll see where she is, who she is, and what she is. So here we go. Ah, and we get... The sun hat back. Thalia's overprotective hat. That is pretty cool. We definitely want to get this. All of you who have not been able to get it, uh, you know, this is something that we definitely, you're definitely going to want to get. So, Thalia the Talon Hand. So, there she is. The sun hat is back. So, now we just have to figure out where exactly she is. 25% warrior damage, 40% fire damage, 99% sunburn resistance. And again, like I've said, the sunburn resistance basically protects you from fire. And that is pretty much what I have added to my uh, Radiant Leaves crown for the uh, Helio set. Um, again, it makes you darn near impervious to fire, which is one of the reasons that I have it and I like it. So let's also take a look at the quests. There it is. The map, where is she? All right, she's over in the east. So I'm going to warp over here, and then hopefully I am close to her other on the map, but uh, you'll join me when I'm there. She doesn't even suspect me of uh, wanting to murder her. And let's take a look. I actually want to see... You know what? I've already defeated her. Why not bring her onto the ship? Let's bring her onto the ship. Let's do that. Uh, that means first we got to take out her links. We'll weaken her a little bit. Oh, great. Another mercenary. That mercenary, we don't have to worry about her. I do want to worry about. There we go. So down she goes. And this guy, come over here, punk. There we go, you hairless beast. We're done with you. And rather than kill her, we just hit the recruit button. We still get all the perks. Go to port. A man named Varnavas is hiring sailors for my crew. It's there, we have everything. We have the ore. I already have the actual hat. So I ended up getting a legendary item, but she is a epic mercenary. But look at this, 30% ship armor and 30% weak point creation with javelins. All excellent, honestly. I really have no problem with that. Those are some great stats. Uh, this guy, I believe I got yesterday, Nestor the Great. This is the guy with the eye patch. 30% Roa stamina, 35% damage inflicted by Marines. And, I mean, just look at that, it, you know, like, as a perspective to, like, the actual people that I've gotten. 30% ship health, 35% health on all lieutenants, 25% ship health recovery after boarding, which is cool. But then here we have uh, Aya. Here we have Bayek. Uh, I guess they have decent stats, too. As does Evie. It all depends. 
ship builds are awesome though anyway uh that's how you do it that's how we end up getting that mercenary we could either again kill or recruit all the plans on what you want to do and you could do that with any mercenary regardless of it, whether there's a bounty on them or not now for everybody who was uh talking about what's going on in the corner you do every once in a while see where it'll say something to the effect of there being uh, new content available and that is because of the horse uh hopefully the uh, black pegasus unicorn thing that's only going to be here for a while it's not going to be here forever but that's why we keep getting that message off we go now anyway i hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe it helps the channel